Hi, I'm Erica. Let's go ahead and dive into our warm up. Bring your hands together, interlacing your fingers and bringing your elbows towards one another. Ideally, we lock those elbows in place, but it's okay if there's a little bit of space. Start to rotate your wrist. We'll have about 10 seconds in each direction. And as you're doing this, just a quick overview of what you can expect today. We're going to warm up from the fingertips up to the jaw because all of the muscles in this group, the fascia that connect the tissues of the body, they're all kind of interconnected. And so if you have tightness in your jaw, switch rotations. If you have tightness in your jaw, it can influence the optimal functionality of your wrist. So there'll be some movements that we do in this class that seem a little odd, but there's a reason and a method to the madness. Release those rotations. We're going to flick water off of our fingertips, a little imaginary water. Let that flicking motion go faster and faster, using your thumb to create some friction. We have a few breaths here. Warming up the muscles and the fingers, the palms and the forearms. Should have mentioned we have a minute here, so just keep going, keep going. Fast as you can, fast as you can. Looks like we've got 15 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, faster, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and release. Now you're going to take each digit to your palm and then release, okay? Thumbs, index, middle, ring, pinky. Other way, pinky, ring, middle, index, thumb. All right, twice more. Last time. and release, kind of wiggle the fingers out like you're playing the piano. Next, we're going to take some arm circles, okay? These are going to be intentionally slow because we want to really get into the musculature here rather than relying on momentum. So let's place the left hand down on the floor, lean towards your left, give your right arm plenty of space. And we wanna keep that arm as close to the body as it can go rotating your palm up as it goes behind you. Let's take three more here. Nice and slow, very intentional movement. And then let's switch, bringing our right hand down to the mat, leaning to the right and moving the left arm. Keep it close to the body. Good, last two. And then release, awesome. Now we're coming into cactus arms, all right? So we want to bring the elbows in line with the shoulders, palms facing forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, pull the forearms in. Lift the chest as you squeeze the shoulder blades together, concave the chest as the forearms come in. Start to move a little bit faster. For 10, 9, 8, 7, really squeeze the shoulders and the chest, 4, 3, 2, last one, and relax the shoulders down. Now let's warm up the neck. We're going to take 10 head circles in each direction. Try to keep your shoulders anchored in place so that you're isolating the neck. If you're moving at my pace, we have five more in one direction. Four, three, two, one. Reverse, take the circles the other way. And the whole time that you're moving, imagine that you could extend the crown of the head away from your collarbone. So you're lengthening your neck as you go around in these circles, giving your cervical spine lots of space. Last five. This side is so awkward for me. <laughs> Last three.
last one. And then bring your head back to center. Now to warm up the jaw, we're going to open and close the jaws 10 times and then take the bottom jaw side to side for a total of 10, okay? Open and close. Side to side. Now use your knuckles to massage the connection between the upper and lower jaw. Press firmly until you feel something. Take those circles in the first direction and I'll let you know when to change. Switch directions. So we've warmed up the muscles that we want to warm up for this session. Now we're going to stretch. Let's start off with the hands. Take both hands forward, curl your fingers in towards your palms and use your thumbs to hold your index fingers in place. Then drop your knuckles down to the floor so that you're stretching the top of the hand, top of the wrist and the forearm. Take a few breaths here. Good, give yourself one more full breath cycle. Then we change to stretch the bottom side. So take your right arm forward, flex your fingers and wrist. Use your left hand to pull the right fingers back. Make sure your thumb's not hanging and the thumb is included. We wanna to try to straighten that right elbow to its capacity. We have a few breaths here. And just a quick reminder that these exercises can be done at any point throughout your day. Um, and I particularly recommend them for people who have uh, computer or desk jobs where there's a lot of typing, a lot of um, hand movement that can contribute to carpal tunnel syndrome. But these are also really helpful for anyone, release, who uses their hands a lot, including hand and arm balancers. Let's switch. Flex left fingers and wrist, pull back with the right hand and breathe. So I'm doing this in preparation for some arm balances in my practice, but as someone who spends a lot of time at a computer, I find that these are helpful pretty much for all things hand related. And release, good. So now you're going to take your fingers and we're just gonna do a sliding exercise. This is a lot about communicating between the brain and the hand more than really stretching, but you get some of that too. Take the pinkies out, slide over the index fingers, Slide over the middle fingers, index fingers, and thumbs. Other way, thumbs, index, middle, rings, pinkies, release. Let's come into tabletop position, stacking your shoulders over your wrists. Fingers spread wide, index fingers forward. Start to take some nice broad circles that bring weight into all the corners of the hand and fingertips. Let's take one more big circle in one direction. And then switch, taking three circles in the opposite direction. Good, last one. I think I lost count. <laughs> Come back into center. Now start to rotate your fingertips so that your wrists face your knees and your wrists face forward. Sorry, fingertips face your knees and your wrists face forward. Gently shift the weight back into the mounds of the fingers. Maybe even lift the heel of the hand if you're looking for a bit more sensation. Take a few breaths here. And release. Walk those fingertips back towards standard position and come back into kneeling or sitting. Let's stretch out the shoulders and the neck together. So interlace your hands behind your back. Pull both of your hands towards your right hip and then draw your right elbow back. Now you don't have to hook your hands around your hip. They could just be somewhere at your back towards the right side. We'll then drop our right shoulder towards the right ear, 
tuck the chin in as much or as little as needed to get the perfect stretch and take a few breaths here. Sometimes the pain that we can feel in our hands or wrists can be caused by weakness, tightness, overuse, <laughs> all sorts of things. Heads up, change directions, and this time it's your right ear to your right shoulder. Yeah, take a few breaths here. And so as you're going through your warm-ups, you may find that there are some that feel more challenging than others. Go back to those challenging ones more often. You might also find there are some that have a lot more sensation than others. Go where you feel the sensation. That's a pretty good indicator that that's a stretch or strengthening technique that you need. Head up. Take your hands at the center of your tailbone sacrum area. Pull your shoulders and your elbows back and then drop your chin down to your collarbone. Take a few breaths here. Next time that you exhale, release those hands. We're going to take our arms forward. Take, notice what arm you put on top and give yourself a hug. This is option one. Option two is to take the backs of the hands together or double wrap as an eagle bind. You're then going to drop your hands towards your left. Drop your hands towards your right. Draw your elbows away from you and extend the hands forward and then change. So the opposite arm is on top. Find the variation that worked best for you and repeat, taking your hands to the right, hands to the left, forward, and release. Shake it out. So I hope that you felt good in some of these postures and movements. Please take a moment to like and subscribe if you have not already and just integrate these into your day. If you're a yoga practitioner, this can be great to do before your mat practice. If you are someone that works from a desk or drives a lot, this is something that you can do at the beginning and the end of your workday. Thank you so much for practicing with me and take care.